So we have the Xiaomi Redmi Note 7 here. And today I'm going to show you how to unlock the bootloader of this device. Now if you have just received your Redmi Note 7, you're not going to be able to unlock the bootloader instantly. Xiaomi has put a waiting period on the amount of time that you must wait to unlock a device. The amount of time you have to wait depends on a number of different things. I've had some devices where I was able to instantly unlock it and I've seen some people with the Redmi Note 7 that have been able to instantly unlock it. Some people have been given a 72 hour waiting period while others like myself were given a 360 hour which is a two week waiting period. Um, the 360 hour waiting period seems to be the average so if you have just received your Redmi Note 7, you're most likely going to be told to wait 360 hours before you can unlock the, the, the device. But you need to get the ball rolling. You need to get this stuff started before that um, waiting period will actually begin. So I'm going to show you how to do all that from start to finish right here today. And to start... We're going to need to request unlock um, permissions from Xiaomi. This means that you're going to have to have a Xiaomi Mi account created and you're going to have to have it attached to the phone, which I'll show you to in a bit. And you're going to have to go to a specific website, which I will have linked on my website in the full tutorial for this specific guide and you'll find that link to my website in the video description for anybody who's watching this on YouTube. So you're going to need to open up the settings application and you're going to need to scroll down to the me account option and you're going to need to add the me account that you have just registered to this device. Now, whenever, as soon as you add this in, it's going to give you the option to have features like sync on. You're going to need to have the sync feature turned on. And you're going to need to have the find devices feature turned on. Once you have sync and find devices turned on, then we can continue. Xiaomi needs these two features to be turned on so that it knows that your Xiaomi Mi account has this specific device registered to it. That way it can start the timer for your specific device, that waiting timer that I was telling you. Now you're also going to have to have the your SIM card added to the device and you're going to need to have developer mode enabled which if you're not familiar with how, with how to do that again refer back to my website linked in the video description as I'll show you how to do all of that so we need to go into settings into additional settings and then go into developer options Firstly, we need to make sure that the OEM unlocking option is turned on. And then we need to tap on the Me Unlock Status button. And you're going to see some instructions here, such as making sure that the Wi-Fi is turned off, making sure that mobile data is turned on, So once you have added your account through the Me Unlock status page, you're going to get a message here. 
Again, it says it has successfully added this account, and it gives you this information telling you to not sign out or perform a factory reset or clear system apps data. If you do all of the above, if you do any of the, any of the above, you will need to add your account again or you won't be able to unlock the device. So if you do any of that after you've done this, you're going to have to go in, remove your account, and add it again. But once that's connected to this, to, to uh, once your account has been connected to the Xiaomi Redmi Note 7 through this Me Unlock status page that is tucked away in the Developer Options page, then we can download and open up the Xiaomi Me Unlock program on our computer. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Now again, I'm going to have the download link for this Me Unlock application on my website. Once we have downloaded and extracted it, you're going to find a me flash underscore unlock dot exe file. Double clicking it, it's going to open up this, dis this disclaimer. And we're going to click on the agree button right here. It's going to ask you to sign into your account. And then it's going to check your me account permissions. This needs to be the same me account that you have associated with the device. Now before whenever I told you that if you have just received your Xiaomi Redmi Note 7, you will not be able to unlock it instantly. Everything that I've shown you right here, I went through two weeks ago. And we're about to come up to the point where it's going to tell you that, I, that you need to wait however many hours Xiaomi has deemed you to, to wait. So once we have connected our Mi account to the phone and we have downloaded and opened up this Mi Unlock thing, you can see it's going to say that there's no phone connected. And that's because we need to boot it into fast boot mode, otherwise known as bootloader mode. So off screen, I'm just going to power off the device. I'm going to do just like it tells me to do. I'm going to hold down the volume down and power buttons at the same time. And it's going to boot us into fast boot mode. Now, if you've been following along with my Redmi Note 7 tutorials, you know what fast boot mode is. It's this guy right here. Once that's done and I'm in fast boot mode, then I'm going to connect this device to the PC with a USB cable. Once that happens, as you can see, the, the status is going to say that there is a phone connected and that now I have an unlock button right here. And just in case you weren't aware, unlocking the bootloader is going to erase all of the data you have on your device. So be, again, be aware of that. Once you're ready, we're going to click the unlock button and you're going to get two different warning screens here and you're going to have to t have a timer on each one. So the first warning popped up, we're going to click click anyway. A second warning pops up, we're going to cl do click anyway or click unlock anyway. And now this is the screen that it's going to take you to. Now if you've just done this, you are only going to get a green message on this verifying device section. If this is the first time that you have opened up your phone and have tried to unlock the device, you're going to have one green arrow and two X's. And instead of saying unlock successfully, it's going to, it's going to say something like you need to wait 72 hours or you need to wait 360 hours or whatever it is. Again, I went through all of this that I'm showing you in this video two weeks ago so that I can do all of this in one video for you to reference instead of having to have a part one and a part two. I did that before and it was not very popular and I've found this to be much, much better. 
So once you have waited the amount of time that you're supposed to wait, determined by Xiaomi, you're going to get three green check marks after you've gone through all of this process, and your phone's going to actually reboot on its own. You're not even going to need to click the reboot phone button. And just as I mentioned, you're going to see the phone reboot on its own. It's been rebooting for a second. Once it's re rebooted, we can go ahead and unplug this USB cable from the device. Just like the warning screen said, our data is going to be erased. So this first boot cycle is going to take longer than it normally takes. And that's why we're sitting here and waiting. Eventually, we're going to be taken to the Android and MIUI activation screen where we can log back into our Xiaomi Mi account. And if you have the global version of MIUI installed on this device, then you'll be able to log into your Google account as well. I'm currently still running the Chinese version of MIUI. But the process is, this process is exactly the same matter if you have the Chinese version or the global version of MIUI. You can see it's going to ask us to connect our Mi account, which first we have to connect to Wi-Fi. So I'm going to select that bottom option and I'm going to connect to Wi-Fi and connect to my account real quick. And now that I've connected to Wi-Fi, I hit the back button and again it takes me back to the same screen because now I need to log into my Mi account. So this time after I have, again, after I've logged into Wi-Fi, now I'm going to select this top option and log into my Mi account. And with that done, that overlay screen is going to be gone now that I've logged into Wi-Fi and logged into my Mi account. You probably don't even have to log into Wi-Fi if you want to use your mobile data. It's completely up to you. And it's just going to, we're just going to go through the typical Mi UI activations setup. I don't care to sync to Mi Cloud anymore. I'm just going to set the device up as a new device. And turn all of these things off. It all depends on how you want to set up MIUI. It's your choice. I like to use the gestures. Well, you can do the regular software navigation bar if you want. It's up to you. So now we have booted back up into MIUI. After we have unlocked our device, which has done a factory reset on our phone, this time whenever we go to developer options and we go to the Me Unlock status option, it's going to tell us that the device is unlocked. Make that easier to see for you. you see the device is unlocked. Our bootloader is unlocked. Now we can install TWRP. Now we can root our device. We can do a lot of different things. Finally, after we have waited, at least for me, two weeks after I initiated the bootloader unlock process, and then now that I can get into 
and install some community developer mods such as TWRP, Majisk, and a lot of other mods that I like to use on my Android smartphone. So there you have it. It is a long process. It's going to take some waiting. It's going to take some patience. But that is how to unlock the bootloader of the Xiaomi Redmi Note 7 and the upcoming Xiaomi Redmi Note 7 Pro. Both models will go through the exact same process as what I've shown you right here.